I'm going to show you guys how to get the most rare armor set in the entire game. This is called the Zonite armor set. And what this armor set does is it gives you this buff called energy up. And if you get all three pieces, it will cut your energy uses for energy usage for Zonite devices in half. So you'll be able to fly your Zonite, Zonite devices or use your Zonite weapons for twice as long as you would otherwise. So if you combine this with a max battery, you'll actually be able to use Zonite devices for an obscenely long amount of time. So this is honestly one of the best armor sets in the entire game, if not the best, and is also super secret and super hidden. So two of the pieces, you actually would never even know how to get them without a guide. So I'm going to show you how to get this awesome battery reduction armor. Let's go ahead and get right into it. For the first piece, we're going to go to the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. It's up here to the northeast of the map. If you've never been here before, you can go to the backside and there will be this thing flying around holding the piece that you need. You shoot that and pick up the piece with um, Ultra Hand, then bring it over here to this guy and he'll open up the door for you. And then you can use this in order to launch into the sky. And when you do that, you'll be right around here and you'll be able to glide over to this right here. Now, if at any point during any of this, you don't have enough stamina, you can always farm stamina food. The easiest way to do that is to go over here towards the Maoki Shrine or the Joan Sao Shrine. And on this shore right here, you can find these bright eyed crabs that you can convert into stamina meals. So if you need those, go ahead and get those. So what you're supposed to do is come here and rebuild this device. You can just go ahead and leave it with the four fans and just stick all the batteries on with any which way. Uh, ideally, you want to balance the weight, though, if you can. But if not, that's fine, too. So we can go ahead and just put all these batteries on and then hop on this thing. And then this thing will take us to this over here. So we need to head over to the... Uh, East. So you're just going to fly over like this until all the batteries die and then until your battery runs out. And you really want to get a lot of height too on your way over. So that way you can just glide the last bit if you need to, especially if you have stamina food. So at this point, if you don't have a big battery like me, you're going to run out and you're going to have to glide down to here. Which is fine because over here we'll actually have a shrine that we can activate so we can fast travel here whenever we want. And there's also a Zonai device dispenser over there. And this island can take you to the island we need to go to in order to do the next part of getting the first piece of the Zonai armor. So first you'll have to go over here and activate this thing. I just activated it. After you do that, then this device up here will start throwing you like that. Then all you got to do is try to line it up with the tallest island. So something like that, hopefully. Oh, wait, it's a little bit too far. A little bit too far. Maybe like that. Yeah, that looks okay. And then you're just going to go up here and you're going to get on top of this. And you're going to wait for it to launch you, which should take you up to the third island. There you go. And then from here, we're up on the third island. We're ready for the next part of this. So now if you look around, you'll notice this giant orb in the sky. Now, what you'll want to do right here, immediately upon getting here and getting in this position, go ahead and save so you can reload right here if you mess this up, because it's definitely easy to mess up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this thing around all the way to the other side and try our best to line it up with the hole on the giant sphere over there. So easy way to eyeball this is to use a bow and then see about lining it up like that. It looks maybe lined up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these blocks... And we're going to take the block and we're going to let go of it in there. And it looks like it was off by a little bit. Maybe because I hadn't fully set it down, honestly. But we have a few blocks that we can try multiple times. So you're going to wait for it to actually kick and then go so you can get on here and try to let go of it before it's done. Okay, let's see if this one's going to make it in. Not quite, unfortunately. Though I think we have it lined up. I think we just got to keep trying. I think it's just something about the angle or the way that I'm setting them on this thing can make it vary a lot. So we're just going to try this again. I'll wait for it. Then come over here and try to line it up as best as I can. Maybe that'll be better. Ooh, looks like we're slightly off. So it needs to move very slightly to the left. You can just tap it. Like that. There we go. And then that should seal the deal for it. 
All right, let's see if this one makes it now. All right, we're good. It went ahead and made it in. Okay. So the next step is for us to climb up here and let it launch us over there. And then once we get close to it, we'll just pull out the glider and we'll come down into it. So now you gotta be really careful though. You don't wanna mess this up. Don't put the block on this. So this is a switch. You do not wanna put the block on it yet. So what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna find the block wherever it landed. You're gonna bring it over here. And then what you're gonna do is get it close to it. And then hold it with ultra hand over top of it and just wait. Just give it like five seconds or something. Give yourself a lot of wiggle room with it. And then you're gonna take it and you're going to set it down and then you're quickly going to climb up this thing. And you're going to glide over. Wait for your stamina. Glide over. Climb and do the jump climbs up to here. And then from here, you can look down and do a recall. And now be really careful. So we got to do this and get it right over top. And then cancel. And be careful not to fall off here because it's possible. And then quickly jump over into here. If you don't do that, you'll get trapped in the upper part and have to load your save. So then from here, we have the first secret piece of Zonai armor. This one is the Zonite Shin Guards. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one real fast. Pop that on, Re make energy up, makes you use less uh, battery power when using devices. The next place that you need to go is the Rebella Wetlands Skyview Tower in the southeastern part of the map. Also, when you first come here, there'll be these spikes here. You'll have to burn them away. And in order to do that, what you'll have to do is take these and connect them end to end and then hold them over the roof in order to cover the cover the vine so that that way they'll actually burn. You'll need three of these though. There's one over there as well, but you'll cover like that by putting it across there and then you can burn them. And then you can take this sky view tower up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly over to this region right here of floating islands. On your way in, you'll notice all these floating islands and these platforms near them. Now the best one to start by is going to be this one that has two springs on it, the one furthest to the north. And next to it is this one, which we won't be able to grab, I don't think, unless we want to attach something to it, but I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do that. So instead, we're just going to go down to it. And what we need to do now is we need to get to that island up there. And this is where we need to talk about Zonai devices. So if you have fans, that's going to be really nice. That's the main thing that you're going to need here. You're just going to take a fan and you're going to put it down in the middle like that and then hit it. But... If you have other things that can help you, so like if you have this flying device and a bunch of battery, that'll also make this way easier. If you have large Zonai charges like this, uh, they'll temporarily give you infinite battery. Things like that are also super, super helpful here. Also, if you have auto build things like, or just the, the materials to make them, things like a sled with a rocket, that'll also be nice here because this thing will eventually disappear once it travels far enough. So once we get high enough, what we're gonna have to do now is go to our Zona devices and spawn another fan. And we're gonna take that fan and we're going to tilt it at an angle like this, uh, more like down at an angle like that. And then we're gonna have it bring us closer to the island. We're actually rotated a little weird here, but I think it's actually rotating for us. But either way, this is gonna take a long time once this platform starts flashing green, that's when you may want to consider spawning a sled and a rocket or something else. But you can theoretically just get it like this. You'll get closer and closer to it. And then finally it'll disappear and you can glide over to the island as long as you're going up. As long as you go up high enough. Also, if you need stamina food, if you weren't listening to the other part, you can get stamina food right here on the map to the right of Central Hyrule. There's a spot on the beach where you get bright-eyed crabs and just cook them together into meals. It gives you full stamina restores. Okay, so the platform's starting to flash green, so I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't disappear just yet. And at this point, you're going to keep going, and then as soon as it disappears, actually, it's just going to disappear. Okay. So you don't have a lot of time, so you want to have your device ready if you're going to use a flyer from that point, if you're going to use a sled rocket or something. Just have it sitting on the platform uh, once you get close to this point, just in case. It just It's up to you. But you should be able to glide like this if you have stamina food. And where we're going to try to go is we're going to slip between this broken off thing on the right... And the, and the actual tower itself. There'll be this circular ring that wraps around this. And we're going to try to hit that. So we're going to come in right here. And this is where stamina food's good. Because if you don't, if you come up short, you're going to need a climb. So stamina food is really kind of required here if you don't use a Zonai device. Which it's easy to mess up and not use one. 
All right, so there we go. I had enough stamina, but if I didn't have the stamina that I have, then I would have needed to use a stamina food. So now after this, you're going to wrap around the island this way, which is counterclockwise. You're going to come over to... Oh, jeez. You're going to come over to here, and there's this ring that you need to interact with before we can continue further on this island. So you come to the outside of it and interact with it, and that will activate the island, and then from here, we'll be able to glide up the island. So now you're going to go to the right and climb up this... And you can walk over here, wait till your stamina is full, and then glide over top of this. It'll take you up higher. And then you can keep doing this to go up further and further on the island. So you can come over here. If you need a rest, you can just come down and land and get your stamina back. But you'll just go from each one of these, from one to the next to the next, and make your way up the island all the way to the top. Once you get to the top, you'll just glide on over. There'll be some hardy radishes up here, which are really nice. And now right here, you got to go through this crazy beam puzzle. Just in case, I would recommend saving your game real fast. And then you're going to use a combination of gliding and diving in order to get down here. So you can glide to shoot back up. You can do a normal fall to just barely go down. And then you can just do this to... Uh, it's really not hard because if you stop gliding, you just keep tapping ZR. And you can just you know slow yourself down and then go when you need to go. Although it can be a little confusing. I almost messed that up there. So you definitely can get hit by those. But when you get down here, immediately head over here to this shrine and grab it just in case something weird happens, which probably won't. All right, so now right behind that shrine, there's going to be this. And you'll see this weird little thing here. You can climb up this up to here. And there's a secret room in here. You can use a send right here. It'll take you into a secret room, turn around, and there's a chest. Inside of that chest is the Zonite Waste Guard. So there you go. That's how to get the Zonite Waste Guard. We're two of these down. We got one more to go, but let's put that on. The Zonite Waste Guard energy up makes us use less battery when we use Zonite devices. For the next one, you're going to want something to keep you warm or just lots of food to eat. The cold's really not that bad if you just have a bunch of meals to eat. Also, again, you might want stamina restores, and you'll also ideally want to have a large Zonite charge or some Zonite charges in order to restore your energy. There are lots of foods you can make that'll keep you warm. Also, one novel way you can stay warm is you can drop a ruby on the ground and then you can fuse it to your shield and that will keep you warm, which is actually really crazy. Then after that, you're going to take this um, sky view tower up into the sky and you're going to want to glide over here to your northwest to these islands. On your way in, you'll see this island right here with one of these blocks on it and a hot air balloon. Now, for this next task, we're going to want to bring a bunch of Zonai devices. Fans, hot air balloons, jets, whatever you want to use. Or, if you have enough battery for it and you have it, you can just go ahead and make one of these and just fly the whole way. It's really up to you which way you want to do it. Or, you can just stick with this one balloon, but it will take quite some time to get up there. So, recommend putting more than one balloon or using a fan or something like that. Once you start getting high enough, if you want, you can put on a fan and you can attach it at an angle so we can put it on like this and we want to head to the south so take a look at your compass at the bottom right of the screen you want to head roughly south and you can tilt it at an angle downward so like this and just attach it to the side of the hot air balloon because we are going to have to head south as well in order to go to the series of islands right down here. So the balloon that comes with it by default will not last forever and it'll eventually come off leaving you with just the fan which is not a big deal. But once the balloon is gone, especially if you've had the fan on pretty much the whole time, I have to reattach the fan after that though because it'll detach the fan. Uh, and then also we can take off this flame emitter and throw it away. Make sure this fan's still attached at that angle. Uh, at Oh, not at that angle. At, at this angle. There we go. And also we can use this to rotate right now and change our direction. So like this, because we need to head towards those three islands in the distance. Now, once you're up this high, it's probably a good idea. If, you if you're going to use a flying device, just go ahead and fly the last bit of the way. But if not, you can just wait and attempt to glide. If you got your angles wrong and aren't quite at the right height, You'll have, a trouble, you'll have trouble getting there. Also, if you don't have a stamina, you'll have trouble getting there. But you may also want to, if you have an auto build ready for something like this, a sled rocket, you can just get it ready because this platform is going to disappear on us at a certain point. 
So we can just take this and get it to where once it spawns, it'll wedge in like that. And then we can jump on top of it before the platform disappears and hit this. Just to get an extra boost to make this a little bit easier. And then from there, we're going to glide over to the middle island. Again, if you need stamina food, there are crabs that you can get on the eastern side of the map right over here by this river. And you can go there and cook those into stamina food before doing all of this in order to have some stamina food to consume on your way over if you don't have enough stamina by default. I'm glad I used that rocket because I had messed up the way I went up and I would not have quite made it. So definitely, I definitely recommend doing something to give yourself a boost there, some kind of edge. So now what you're going to do is you're going to actually, you're going to save the game because you do not want to have to do that a second time. That took a very long time. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to take a wing and we're going to get it set up on this course. Now, at this point, you'll need to use your Zonai charges, or if you have batteries you could, and just your own Zonai devices, you can add fans, you can add batteries. Uh, if you need batteries, you can actually get them over in the sky over here, and you can get there from the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower, go to this zone, the spice device dispenser, and get a bunch of batteries. It's just up to you. But the default stuff that's already up here is just going to be these two rockets and these two fans which I'm just going to combine them all just to make it easier to carry and then bring them over to here and shake off the pieces one by one and attach them to the wing. So we're just going to take these and attach them to the tail facing backwards like this. And then we're going to take the rockets and we're going to put them on the tips of the wings facing forward. And from here, we're just going to go straight to the south. So now we're going to get on here. Uh, ideally, let's go ahead and just move this thing up a little bit more. And then we can hit this. And it'll launch us into the air. So now what we want to do is we want to hang out. You can crouch in order to make it easier to not fall off. And you want to hang out on the rear of the uh, um, wing, which will make it go up. And you, ideally, we want to get a bunch of height on our way over because there's an island we're going to land on to our front right. Now, again, if you don't have a lot of battery charge, this is the point where you'll need to uh, use Zonai charges or something like that. But once we get up here, it'll get to where there's like no gravity, and then we can jump off to that platform down there. Or if you have a lot of battery, you could try to make it the whole way. I'm not sure if you actually could or not. Uh, so once we get over top of this island, we can jump off. And if you don't quite make it, just glide the last little bit of the way. Over in the corner of this island, there are two springs. And what we need to do is take these springs and attach them on top of each other like that. And before we even go, I recommend that you save your game again so you don't have to go to this island a second time. But before we can go to that island, we'll have to make a pit stop over at this island right here. There's a platform we can land on on the way. Also, if you're dying to the cold, be sure to keep an eye on that and eat food periodically so that way you don't die to the cold if you don't have actual armor to keep you warm. So now we're going to look to our southwest and launch up into the air. Over here, we'll see this island right here and we'll see this floating platform. Once we get to the height of our, our jump like that, we're going to glide over to this platform and we're going to try to dodge this guy's arrows by going to the right and then coming in. Uh, if you're not very strong, he can just one-tap you. So be very careful. And be careful not to activate these rockets on your way in, or else you'll have to spawn one of these rockets. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to try to not activate both rockets at the same time. We're going to set this one to the side without attaching it. And then we're going to take this one and attach it to the center and make it go straight up. And then hit it. This will take us up higher into the sky. Then we can take the other one and we can look towards the island to our northeast and set this one at a 45 degree angle towards it and then set it on the ground and hit it as well. This will take us close enough to this island that we can easily just glide over to it. We'll wait for this thing to stop moving and then we'll just jump over like this to this island. Now on this island, we'll be able to find my camera. My controller is disconnecting. Okay, there we go. On this island, we'll see over here to the north, there's this ring. That's where you're going to want to go first in order to activate the island. Now, before you do any of this, make sure you're not dying to the cold like I am. And then save your game before doing this. Then after you save your game, you're going to interact with this ring. 
which will lower the water level of this island and let you get down into the lower half of it in order to do a puzzle with light. This is your chance to get a bunch of free fish, by the way. They can't really defend themselves now. So you'll head over here. There'll be this guy right here. You can fight him if you want, or you can try to ignore him. It's up to you. You'll head down into this cave, and you'll blow this up with a blunt weapon or bomb flowers or whatever. I think the easiest way if you have bomb flowers on you is to just use a bow and then go over. It depends on how often you use them. In my case, I can, I can organize by the most used item. Like it's so obnoxious once you have so many items in this game. It's, it literally takes forever. Or just find them on the way. Bomb flower. And use bomb flowers on that in order to break them. And then you can head down into here where we can do a light puzzle with these um, light reflectors. Now you can make this puzzle a lot easier on yourself by pulling out your bow and looking through your inventory for the... Uh, bright bloom seeds or giant bright bloom seeds and just start shooting them off to the right and just shooting them all around uh it'll make it a lot easier to see what's going on inside of here when you go to do this puzzle now what you're going to do is use ultra hand and you're going to grab one of these from down here and you're going to rotate it so it'll set on its side correctly so like this and then you're going to take it and point it towards that one and set it down then you're going to jump over to that And you're going to take this one and you're going to use Ultra Hand on it as well. And you're going to rotate it forward like that and point it towards that one. And then you're going to glide over to this. Glide over to this. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot Bright Bloom Seeds over here. And I also got to watch my health because I didn't actually put any food on to, or any um, clothing on to keep me warm. So at this point, I'm just going to eat some random food. But now we're going to use Ultra Hand on this one. Rotate it forward and point it towards that. And then from here, we can fly over to this. And one thing I didn't try is we can actually spawn light source sources as Zonai devices. And maybe we could just circumvent this whole puzzle, but I've never tried it. You could try it if, you, if you're bored and you want to. Either way, you're gonna go over here now and you're gonna drop down into here. And you're gonna kill this guy and he'll drop a mirror shield. Which you don't even have to pick up and equip. You can just you can just use it like the other devices we were using already. So we're gonna straighten it out, and then we're going to hold it in the air with Ultra Hand and point it at this thing. Once we do that, we can go ahead and drop it, which will make these walls come down. And also, we can go over here and climb up to here, and then drop down. And there's a chest right here. Inside of this chest is the Zonite Helm. So once we put that on as well, we can go to our armor and see what the final set looks like. So that is what it looks like. And with all these on, it will cut your battery usage in half. The final notes about this armor set, you can upgrade it at the Great Fairies. And if you upgrade all the pieces to level two, there'll be a set bonus and it'll make your battery recharge twice as fast. Now, one of the kinks with doing that though, is that you'll need a, a soldier captain construct horn some item like that and you'll need a bunch of them to get through the first levels of upgrading the armor and one of the places you can find it is at a shrine right here you can just come here every blood moon every few hours they'll respawn even if you've already beaten it and they're just like the ones with the really long necks you'll just look for them and if you upgrade it all the way the entire set it'll have 84 armor so it's a pretty good set honestly and the main thing is that zonai devices are op if you've seen my other videos about making tanks and other cool devices um if you saw my, what was my orbital destruction beacon, I called it, where I was able to destroy f flame Gleok in 30 seconds, um, you'll realize that Zonai devices are stronger than pretty much anything else in the game. So getting your battery usage cut in half is really, really big. So this is one of the best armor sets in the game. It's a super secret armor set, extremely difficult to find. Most of the pieces are actual, like two of the pieces especially, are literal secrets where like you wouldn't even know that you could get them the way that you do. So hopefully this video helped you out, guys. If it did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and now you know how to get the Zonite armor set in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.